Hey everybody, it's Manny and Diana, and today we're going to be talking about five do's and don'ts when photographing models. Luckily for me, I married a model. So, uh, we're going to kind of get both sides to all this. So, let's get started. Number one is give the model positive feedback. Good, good, good. Right there. Good. Look, chin up again, the way you did. Yeah. Again. Chin up. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Go back. Right there. Yeah. yeah. And this is very important because as photographers, some, you know, a lot of the times we're focused on the technical part of photography. If the lights are not right, if, you know, there's a lot of things that we're focused on. And if we're like giving these expressions like, oh, that, no, that doesn't look good or whatever, the model's gonna think that it's her. It's not gonna work out. Let, let me just get some shots to you here and we'll go to the open field next. It's not gonna work. And. I'm actually very guilty of that with my own wife and I have to treat her more professional as in you're like your model I didn't know you know because then with her I'm like oh my god like oh that's a terrible photo oh that's so bad and then you're how do you feel I'm like I'm cute like I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> and it's very discouraging but I know I'm cute so <laughs> fix your camera and let's get this moving yeah so yeah just give your model positive reinforcement uh, even if you take a bad photo, just say it was great and just keep moving on from there, you know? <laughs> Tip number two is to show the model the good photos that you're taking. So, um, when a model sees good photos, it motivates them to do better or want to do better and to continue to photograph um, because they're skeptical about whether or not they're doing a good job most of the time and when you show them that they're doing a good job it's completely different than telling them then it just it's kind of it's just motivating so yeah yeah tip number three is to play some good music now the speaker that i use is a jbl uh, flip three speaker and the reason why i take this with me on photo shoots is because it just livens up the entire just it just lifts you up right the mood yeah just um see what i normally do is with the model I would ask them like, hey, what 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 artist do you like? Or like, what what kind of genre? Or what's your favorite song right now? It can literally just change the whole mood of your photo shoot because your model's, you know, she's feeling herself, right? You start to you start to feel yourself a little bit, you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we start to feel ourselves. <laughs> Definitely music is just something just in general just think about it in general for a lot of people music is very therapeutic So even for a photo shoot, it just it helps you get in that zone. Yeah, for sure the zone, right? Tip number four is to direct her more and pose her less God, I'll pose and I'll pose and I'll pose and we'll be photographing for a long period of time And then yeah. he's like change it up and I'm like what can I yeah. possibly change up so like there, there, there are times when I run out of poses and I'm just like, okay, do something. <laughs> just do something. Yeah. <laughs> she, he she literally tells me and then yeah. I'll do something and he's like, you did that already? And I'm like, yeah, because we've been here for forever. Like, what else do you want me to do? <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I've been doing that a lot less lately, right? I've been, I've been directing more, giving her, like, giving her motions. Like, I want you to walk away and just look back at me, swinging your hair or walking toward me, looking down. Uh, running your hands through your hair, you know, looking like you just graduated nursing school, and then she gives like this nice vibrant smile. Just directing your model more is going to give you more natural photos. Tip number five is to save ideas on your phone. Now, this also goes for poses as well. Uh, I recommend Pinterest. You can go anywhere you want. Instagram, if you have a photographer that gives you inspiration on poses. Um, we all we all run out of ideas at some point yeah. and it's all it's always good to have a backup ideas on your phone so you don't kind of you know just sit there on your phone in the middle of a shoot you have something to back up uh, you have something there to show the model hey I want this look here very essential have backup ideas poses on your cell phone now we're gonna get into the photography don'ts the first don't is don't touch the model without permission if you can just refrain from touching the model because if you don't know her, like, I mean, he's my husband, right? So obviously he can touch me, but sometimes I don't even want him touching me. <laughs> it's, a whole other, it's a whole other video. But, um, <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's, it can be uncomfortable. If you want her to do a certain thing or to pose a certain way, um, do what Manny said before and just give direction as opposed to posing her in that manner. If, if you want to touch her hair or you want to move her hair a certain way and she hasn't done it in the way that you wanted her to do it, maybe you can say, hey, can I fix your hair and make it look a certain way? That 
might be okay. But you can get away with that. Yeah. If you ask her politely, and you know, there's no weird vibes going on. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just, exactly. You know that, what I mean? That's yeah. that's fine, but. I mean, who touches anyone without permission? And just in general, anyway, you know, yeah. it's just it's it can be very uncomfortable for someone if you're just like, yeah, why don't you just go ahead and fix this? Put it right yeah. here. <laughs> put this right here okay. and just. Smile. You would make a great photographer. Yeah. It's a great pose. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I thought so. <laughs> Two is don't assume that the model can read your mind. Communicate what your vision is to them, and you can do that in the beginning or even prior to the shoot. You know, like. There have been times where um, we're getting ready to do a shoot and then I'm wearing something and it's not even what he wants me to wear. He wants me to look more grungy or he wants me to look more moody and I didn't know that and I'm here wearing like this little whimsical dress, you know, or even in the shoots, there have been times where, um, you know, he poses me in a certain manner and then I'm like, and then he's like, no, don't smile. <laughs> I hate when he does that. And I'm like, I smile cute. Like, what's the problem with my smile? And it, it's not that, it's not that my smile is cute, it's that that's not the look he wanted, you know? So you definitely have to communicate what your vision is and what you want at that moment. Yep. We, we don't know, you gotta tell us. Like, give me sad, you know? Give me angry, give me happy, <laughs> yeah, whatever, we, yeah, you know? Just like, communicate. communicate that. Yeah, definitely, All right. communicate. Number three is never to put the model in harm's way. Now, it's one thing if you ask them, hey, do you want to go in the middle of the street in this intersection on the median and take a few photos and but it's another if you're like hey let's go take a photo here if you ask them and they say yeah then hey they know the risk they're adults but if you're telling them that you want them to go there and they're not comfortable doing it and you still insist or you don't even ask that's a whole other story yeah, yeah definitely um, I'm, I'm very guilty of doing it I've, I've, I've done a lot of you know in shots in the middle of the street or you know maybe on some rocks by the beach or something like that um the thing is you know just ask the model it's different when you're asking them and they say yes you know they know what the risks are obviously be as safe as possible but just don't tell them like hey go stand over there we're gonna get a great shot because they might not be comfortable with it like you said so um always ask the model before doing anything risky so. tip number four try not to be so serious I know you're there to get some good images, I know you're there to do a job, but please understand that your mood really does set the tone for the environment. I am 100% guilty of this. You know, as a photographer, sometimes I'm just too focused on the technical aspect of everything, when in reality, I should be engaged with my model more. Um, you know, the tone, the vibe of the photo shoot is very important, guys. Uh, definitely interact with them and just bring the overall mood up on the shoot, you know, and it's going to pay off in the end. You're going to get you know, better expressions, better poses, just an overall better shoot. So um, yeah, don't be so serious. Number five, when posing your model, be careful of the terminology that you are using. For example, if you wanted to bring her butt more toward the camera, instead of saying that, say something more along the lines of, can you please bring your hip more toward the camera? Can you please shift your hips? Something like that, because it just sounds better. It sounds more professional. Uh, you had another good example with yeah. the chest. Oh well, yeah, so instead of instead of telling the model, hey, can you bring your chest out? Uh, instead of saying that, you would say something like, um, hey, can you bring your shoulders back? Like this. When you bring your shoulders back naturally, your chest is gonna come out. You like that? I love it. So naturally, you gotta bring your chest out. <laughs> So when, you, when this, you know, it's it's just a lot more professional. You don't want to refer to her body parts as, hey, pop your booty out, or hey, can you bring your chest out? It's almost, it's almost inappropriate. You know, it's almost like you're, I don't know. It's just not professional. Can you so, booty it's <laughs> hips, okay, <laughs> hips. So um, always just be professional with the model and just don't refer to her body parts in a vulgar manner, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there you have it. Those are our five do's and don'ts with photographing a model. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something from it. And hey, if you have any tips yourself, comment them below. We'd love to hear from you. If you're new here, please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs> really too big, like look. Yeah, just a second. Don't touch, never touch the model. <laughs> Row number one. The energy you will definitely want to feed off that energy. I bet it's your mom. <laughs> it's your mom. Your mommy in the middle of a video. Let me call you back. Now I gotta restart. I'll call you back. <laughs> so there you have it. There you have it. Oh my god. <laughs>
So there you have it. <laughs> so, 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 <laughs> Babe, come on, hurry up, the bag is going out. <laughs> Don't be so serious. Take tip number four into consideration. <laughs> so there you have it. Those are our no, five. Let's do it again. It's going to be hard Don't to tell back. me what to do. Exactly. You don't like ah. that. You don't like ah. that. Stop, stop, baby, baby, we're gonna miss. Oh my god, I did exactly what you ate, and that's why. <laughs>